I'm usually not thinking about anything. Usually when I'm thinking, I, I freeze up and I don't approach people. So I just go on the gut instinct, uh, something about them. I think partly I'm drawn to people who are I I in some way inhabiting the space or their own personal space within this uh, urban space. Uh, so sometimes they might be lost in thought, or, but there's something, something has to click. And then uh, often it's a matter of, of a split second's eye contact. And you know at that point whether you're going to approach the person. Uh, sometimes you even know whether they'll, they'll um, accept having their picture taken. So it, it all happens in a split second. So I suppose the, the bridge for me is very much like, I suppose, a pair of headphones is to other people. It's a sort of, you turn inwards and you're sort of um, are locked into your own little world. Uh, so it's as much a space, I suppose, of Im imagination as it is of, uh, you know, a, a geographical space. I usually arrive at Liverpool Street Station and walk down Bishopsgate to get here. So I arrive here and the first, very first thing I do is take a light reading. So I become aware immediately of what the light conditions are. And depending on where the shadow, yeah, I mean, if it's a, a sunny day like this, there are contrasts and shadows, which I try to avoid largely. usually locate one or two uh, parts of the bridge where I'm going to be photographing that day. But, you know, Diane Arbus used to say that that's when the most interesting photographs happen, is when you go beyond that point of, of being bored into the uh, state of what she called fascination. And it, and it is true, you do get, you know, you might have 55 minutes where nothing, absolutely nothing happens, and you're sort of freezing and then you get a burst of activity which lasts five minutes which uh, which you, you've earned by just by waiting uh, the, the series is approaching 300 but in my head I've got about 500 pictures because then you know you know you know yourself probably when you're shooting um, over a period of time shooting a series of pictures you've got the pictures you've got and then you've got this archive in your head of all the pictures you didn't get or which you have a nagging sort of doubt that maybe they would have been good pictures, but for one reason or another, you, you don't have them. <laughs> 